that estate sale story and the dollar 99 into 900 what Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos that sold in February. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolos come from members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group, there's a link down below. Definitely go and check it out and come share your bolo. So, um, basically, I put up a post that looks like this. And I invite everybody to share their best bolo of the month. And little complication right now. It looks like uh, with the new app update, it's not allowing you to share a link from your app for your sold. So you have to go to your computer. If you go to your computer, you should be able to pull up the sold listing and copy what is up in the search bar, this area right here, when you pull up your sold. And then you just copy and paste that to um, Facebook under the share post. All right, so let's get started with the first big money bolo and it is mine. I decided to share first and this is a quilt top. So what I mean by quilt top is it's unfinished. Do you see how you can see the thread on the back? It doesn't have any padding or anything in between and it does not have a backing on it. So this is just the quilt top and I sold this for a best offer of $100. I got it at a, uh, it was a family that was cleaning out an estate, uh, but it was a living estate. And I just bought tons and tons of stuff from them. So everything was bulk purchases. So not a whole lot of um, money into each individual item. I'm going to say $5 or less for this and sold it for a best offer of $100. The next item comes from Nina's Jewels, and she is also on YouTube and has lots of educational videos. So definitely check her out over there as well. She said, I found this antique gilded poetry book a while ago at an estate sale for a dollar. Recently lowered the price by a couple of bucks, and it sold for full price of $97.99. eBay and YouTube, Nina's Jewels. So it is an antique C1885, The Legend of Jubal Poems by George Eliot, hardcover gilded book. And that is what it looks like. The next item comes from Piece of Scrap, who is also on YouTube and eBay as Piece of Scrap. She does a lot of clothing and accessory shoes, items like that. But she also sells this and that at uh, hard good items as well. So check her out. She said, I paid $10 at a thrift store, sold for full asking price of $194 shipped on eBay within days of listing. So $179.01 plus shipping for this Lee Storm Rider, Storm Rider guys, barn denim coat jean jacket, blanket lined, vintage corduroy. Check that out. That is a vintage jacket right there. And she's got lots of good photos. So always take lots of photos. The next one says, my husband found this toy at the Goodwill bins during a trip to Nashville. We probably paid 25 cents for this. We took a best offer of 32 and it sold in about five days. Not sure what's so special about this particular toy, but we were excited to find it. It is a 2016 Disney Pixar Cars Crazy 8 Crashers Mr. Drippy Water Tanker Truck. So this is one of those toys that is a Disney Pixar. It's got the face on the front, just like that. Always, always, always look these up. Most of them are bread and butter. You're not going to make a lot of money on them, but they do sell. A lot of times I lot these up, but some of them, some of them, like this one, went for $32. Expect the unexpected. All right, what on earth is this? Thanks for the opportunity. Sold a Seymour putter sourced at Salvation Army for 11, I'm sorry, with 11 other clubs and a golf bag, sold for $128.95 plus $12 shipping, ran a store promotion, originally listed for $135, cost of goods was $1.42. So it is a Seymour MFGP Custom 90096, 100% milled putter. I don't know what all those things mean. But 
There you go. It is a putter, a ping. Did that say ping grip? Ping grip putter. Nice little bolo. The next one here is a Pimpernel, Pimpernel, cork backed placemats and coaster set. Royal Horticultural so Society fruit. <laughs> wow, that is a mouthful right there. Um, this is what it looks like. So they are placemats and coasters. More of a bread and butter bolo, but I paid $4.99 at a local thrift store for this set of cork-backed placemats and coasters. Sold in five days for $31 on Poshmark. Rachel LB27. And... This is just one of those kind of unexpected sold fast items. And the cool thing is, is it sold on Poshmark. Poshmark and Mercari, a lot of people are skipping those platforms. They're great for selling things, especially things that are oversaturated on eBay. Um, I use this perfectly to cross post. I do have a tutorial down below if you guys want to check it out. If you're thinking about a cross posting service, I love this perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. You can use my referral code Bolo Buddies to get 30% off your first month if you watch that video and it looks like a good fit for you. So check that out down below. And if you're not on Poshmark and Mercari, I also have referral links down below in the description that'll get you money to shop when you join with those. So check that out. And it gives me a little money to shop too. So thank you when you guys use my referral and affiliate links down below. I appreciate it. All right. So this one here is um, you're just going to see the Facebook post because she didn't sell this on a platform. This is amazing. She said, I just had to share this unbelievable profit I made while I was still at an estate sale this morning. My son and I were the first in line because I saw a picture of this Reed and Barton Kendrick gold flatware 11 piece place setting and wanted to take a chance on it. They had it priced at $125. So I snatched it up. Within 30 minutes, a woman approached me asking if I would consider selling it to her right then and there. I quoted $1,000 to her. She didn't even hesitate. The money was in my account before we left the house. Quickest $875 I've ever made. I don't have a post of my eBay account. It's Rachel's underscore resale underscore razzle underscore dazzle to share with you. But I did upload a few pictures for you here. Thanks for sharing your knowledge with all of us in, in the reselling community. It was a total of 71 pieces, averaging about $14.40 each. So you guys, she sold it at the estate sale. Has anyone ever done that before? Oh my goodness. Check it out. Gold flatware. Barton Kendrick. Reed and Barton Kendrick. So let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. Pretty cool. All right, this next item. Got this dongle for free with a couple of games. Sold it for $79.99. Four colors for me is the eBay store. And it is a PS3 Guitar Hero wireless receiver guitar dongle. And that is what it looks like. The next item is this vintage Fitz and Floyd uh, Sri Lanka hot air balloon bunnies cookies jar pre-owned. This is what it looks like. This also comes from four colors for me. Got this adorable, I'm sorry, Fitz and Floyd bunny cookie jar for free. I almost kept it because I have a pet, a pet rabbit <laughs> was asking 85, had it for about 10 months. I accepted best offer of 72 was not fun packing this thing up. Oh yeah. Cookie jars and things with lids, they're tough. You know what's even tougher is um, snow globes. Oh, I hate the snow globes. Unless they're already in their packaging. The original packaging is fantastic. Vintage Coach Willis bag, 9927 olive green with removable strap and new tag. I love Vintage Coach. Yes, Vintage Coach is fantastic. Picked up this green Willis bag in black. Logan bag for a combined 110 at my local antique mall. Both are in decent condition and I just gave them a little loving with some leather cleaner and conditioner. This one took 48 hours to sell in the amount of time had accumulated over a hundred views and 30 watches. It sold for an offer of 255. Yeah, that green is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I have sold the black before always pick up vintage coach. These are actually the style that I used to carry 
back, I, I'm going to say maybe high school or college, my early college years, I loved the coach bags that were, you know, the little I, toggle thing that you turn. I can't think of what that's called. <laughs> What's it called, guys? The little latch that closes it, the closure. Those are the ones. Look for that. That's key right there. Susan Summers doll, vintage 1975. Look at that, complete somewhere on the box. It says, I bought this a while ago in a vintage toy bundle from Goodwill Online. After calculating, I figured that I paid maybe $12 for it. I sold it January 30th for $100 plus shipping. I have sold some other dolls from the same bundle as well. By the way, I did shampoo and condition the Susan Summers doll's hair before taking pictures and posting it on my eBay store. Here's the link. Okay, so... I would love to know how she shampooed and conditioned the hair. And I wonder why, if it was new. Huh, that's interesting. Betty Crocker's new picture cookbook, 1961 hardcover, first edition, sixth print. If you don't know, Betty Crocker can be a bolo. Bought this Betty Crocker cookbook in the fall of 2022 at a garage sale for 25 cents. I realized it was somehow... I'm sorry. I realized it had somehow got delisted off of eBay while I was doing inventory. I relisted it and sold it within 24 hours for full asking of $74.99. There you go. Betty Crocker. The next item are these Orna Lalo set of two candlestick holders, brass resin candle holder, 3.5 retro MCM. I bought this pair of Orna Lalo resin and brass candlesticks from Facebook Marketplace for 10. Sold two days later for 144 plus shipping to a buyer in the UK. Didn't know anything about this designer, but her stuff is pretty unique and should be easy to spot. I'm the thrifty lobster on eBay, Poshmark and Etsy. Thanks. There you go. Would you have uh, picked it up or walked right past it? Okay, let's see. I bought this Universal Studios Harry Potter Choir Frog Puppet for $5 at a Goodwill, and it sold within 24 hours for $50 on Mercari. So it is a puppet. Harry Potter puppet, 50 bucks, Mercari. Um, grab that referral link down below. Get $10 to shop when you join Mercari and another... Uh, $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. Mercari is great for plush. Avanti Applause Rare Fine 22-inch Polar Bear All Tags Jock Line Italy 1984. Paid a dollar at a local thrift store. Sold in less than two weeks on eBay for full price of $99. There it is. There's a big money plush for you. And watch for other big money plush bolo videos. I've got lots of those. This one is a vintage 1998 Dragon Ball Z t-shirt size extra large made in USA faded Goku anime rare. Paid $6 at the Goodwill and sold for my asking price of 140 plus shipping. eBay store is big underscore ham 97. So yeah, anime can definitely, um, oh wow, the front and the back, front, back. Ah, I see what they did there. Okay. Because the graphic is, you know, the eye catcher. And it's got the date on the tag. That's fantastic. Makes it easy. This is a Cartier gilded sterling silver watering can enamel flowers daffodils vintage rare. All right, here we go. Let's see what this says. Found this small four inch metal watering can on a new cart at the Goodwill. It was only $1.99 and I thought the enamel flowers looked nice. I bought it and waited until I got home to look under the tag. When I removed the tag, I was pleasantly surprised to see Cartier Sterling. I was able to find other Sterling watering cans available and sold, but I didn't see many that were gold plated with enamel flowers. I listed at $1,200 and accepted a best offer of $9 hundred dollars within two months. I love finding these small surprises with large payouts. Cajun picker on eBay. Wow, guys, are you kidding me? Look at that. 
right there. They totally missed it. Wow. I, I just, that is unbelievable to me. It's itty bitty. It's three, three and a half inches. Oh my goodness. Would you guys have walked past it? $900. $900. What'd she pay? $1.99 into $900 in less than two months. I <laughs> love it. That is awesome. All right, we have this vintage 1982 secret of nymph, Miss Bris Brisby, <laughs> Dakin vintage eight, vintage eight inch plush, Don Bluff. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. That was a lot right there. I have never seen this little character. How stinking adorable is that? Hi, here is my Bolo plush. I got her at the Goodwill for a dollar. Vintage. I'm not going to read that title again. Uh, buyer paid $134.50 all in. I have an eBay store. Oh my goodness. Bo regards booty. <laughs> Bo regards booty. There you go. Love sharing with the Bolo community. Thank you for sharing. And that is an awesome Bolo that I have never seen. Uh, new with tags is definitely going to bring the value up, but a lot of times you don't even have to have new with tags. Um, to still get uh, a really good price for a vintage item. Fitz and Floyd Witch on Broom Holiday Teapot Fall Autumn Halloween Rare Vintage. Uh, this is a teapot. Let's look at it. Anything vintage Halloween, look it up. And if it's inexpensive, grab it. Found in a thrift store, it was put for a dollar scanned with Google Lens, listed for 65 and took a best offer of 50. What thrift store are you going for getting this for a buck? That's fantastic. Congratulations. The next item here is this rare 1930 Supertone Herald Teen Uki Ukulele with cartoon graphics and original. It says paid five, took a best offer of 475. Check that out. It doesn't even have the um, strings or the, it's in it's in some rough condition right there. I'm not sure what that picture is. Was that a mistake? <laughs> or maybe it was showing size. Maybe he was showing the size of it. I don't know. That's funny. That is funny. All right. Awesome. 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 Great bolo. Um, and that one comes from AAA Antiques and Collectibles. All right, you guys, what do you think about these uh, big money bolos? That estate sale story and the $1.99 into $900. What? Oh my goodness. I love it. Thank you guys for sharing. Go over to the Facebook group. Again, it's linked down below and share your big money bolo. Shout out your eBay store or whatever store platform you sell on. If you have a YouTube channel, uh, put that information there. I'd love to shout that out and share those bolos and I'll get you guys in a video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.